Hey, Patrick. How are hey, you? Hey, James. How you doing? Oh, pretty good. Good, good. Well, uh, welcome. I am recording this, so hope you don't mind. We'll have this uh, out on the channel so that everybody can see. That's that's exciting. I didn't know there was a channel. Oh, hey, yeah. I've uh, I started myself a little YouTube channel, and I've been recording our, my sessions along with some other games that I play, so... <laughs> no, tr no, trust me, trust me. It's going to be great for you. Don't worry. Um, if if so my habit of seeing copyrighted music the whole time is that going to be a, a problem? oh no, that's even that's fantastic. As long as you stop after about three seconds, you're you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, let me let's do this proper. Welcome to anybody watching this after the fact on YouTube. Welcome to Patrick's Tactics and Tutorials. This is my channel, and one of the regular series that I have on here is Tales from the Vassal Ladder, and this is an opportunity for me to get free content by recording the games that I play each and every month, and also as a free advertisement for our ladder, and this is our encouragement for you, if you like Combat Commander, to come join the ladder and play with a great bunch of folks. We've got a wonderful community of almost 100 players, and you get a uh, a game every month so if you're not playing as often as you like we'll guarantee you at least one game and we have a discord server so you can play with a bunch of people what i like to do in honor of my opponents each month when i uh, bring them on here is to shine the spotlight on them and let them introduce themselves and tell us a little bit about themselves so james would you like to take a moment to tell everyone your uh, gaming history, your war gaming history, your combat commander, whatever you want to tell us? We are here to learn a little bit about you, so take it away. Uh, sure, my name is James. I'm a, I'm a British fascist tonight, so that's an exciting new opportunity for me. Um, I, my war gaming history, I've, this is probably, I don't know, it's like I'm coming up on maybe a year in the uh, combat commander ladder. I have uh, not had any luck finding local gamers, and my... Uh, Gamer friends that I've introduced it to have um, not been war gamey enough for it. So uh, this has been a, it's been really helpful. It's been giving me an opportunity to uh, get a lot more games under my belt. Um, and I'd like to say that's improved my play. I'm not sure that it has, but um, it's fun anyway because the game always has a great narrative. I've been playing uh, games and war games since the old Avalon Hill days because I'm extremely old. And I think Combat Commander hits just that right, I mean, for me, that right balance between realistic infantry tactics and high World War II movie combat drama because there's always something, always, something always dramatic happens every match. So I totally agree with all of those aspects. This is the service that we like to think we are providing for our folks who, especially that are willing to jump onto platforms such as Vassal or Tabletop Simulator and get together and throw on a headset and do some voice chat. This is a wonderful opportunity we've had the last couple of years to really, I think Vassal has grown probably exponentially because of of the service that it provides gamers, especially those who do have gamers locally, but as you say, in your situation, eh, they're just kind of cool to things like Combat Commander. So we're hoping to change that and uh, getting the word out and showing people exactly what the game is all about is certainly a big part of it. But to tell everyone what we're doing here tonight, tonight is round 58. We are playing a scenario from Operation Sea Lion. And for those of you who are not familiar with World War II history, it's actually, this is an alternate universe where Hitler did follow through on his plan to invade the British home islands. And so this is in lieu of the Battle of Britain. It's physically on the island of Britain. And in this situation here, uh, James will be playing the British Union of Fascists, as he said, and he is trying to break his, uh, I guess, de facto leader, Oswald Mosley, who was a real guy, and trapped here in Holloway Prison, well, not trapped, but locked up because of his outspoken support for Hitler and the Nazis. Uh, he is here in Holloway Prison, uh, out of the way, and his cadre is trying to break him out. So this is a breakout and escape scenario, which is kind of unusual for Combat Commander, but it is a lot of fun. This is one of my favorites from this scenario. And I will be playing the British against James's uh, BUF forces, and he'll be using the Italian Fate deck. So we'll, it'll say Italian names on there, but these are British fascists. Uh, I will be defending the left side of the map uh, eventually, but first things... James has to find Mosley, and we're going to uh, set that up here. So why don't we, let's do that first. I'm going to take down here, and I'm going to hide the 
three objectives. I'm going to flip them over, and then I'm going to put them over here into the British allied objectives here. And what we found works pretty well for folks. If you just pick one of them, that will be supposedly the the last one that I would draw out of a random cup. Or pick one, two, or three from left to right there. And that's the one that will not be in building five, essentially. Oh, okay. Uh, three. Okay, so you want number three. Number three will be the one that is not going to be in building five. So I have to take these two, and I have to put them somewhere. I'm going to shrink the map here, and I have to put them within objective five buildings. So I'll do... Uh, this one here, and I think this one here, and then this one has to go into either two or three, and I will put it into there. And now what James will have to do is to get his forces adjacent to try to suss out where Mosley is being held. And if he does that, then he can take the next phase, which is to break him right out of prison. All right, and I have the first part of the setup here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording here and do my setup because that's going to take me a minute or two, and then we'll have we'll let you do yours. So we'll be right back. All right, well, I have completed my setup, and now I'm going to pause it again and let James do his, and then we will be underway. James has said that th that is good enough, and I'm going to take his word for it. I think I'm okay with mine so now we will uh, draw up and I'm gonna get five cards for recon which is sad because I do not get points as the time advances and I get six as attackers that right? is right you in fact get even though I have the initiative card you get the first turn and as always good luck to you yeah good luck how how many orders do I get as an Italian? Uh, you get three orders as the BUF. Well, that's a shame. All right, let's play an order. Let's start with a move. Okay, then. That's always a good one. I'm going to activate Lieutenant Penny and his squads in the north. All right. And they're going to move. Lieutenant Penny, they've got four movement points. That stacks. So he's going to advance three into the stone building. Ah, yes. The safety of the church. Yes, he's going to stay there. And then the squad below him is going to climb over this. Let's see, they've got four movement points. So they're going to spend two to move here. What the heck? We're going to go one more up into the... I think we will do a fire action. We'll get this started. We hear sounds off by the church. So we will activate... Let's check our lines of sight here. we got a very nice line of sight there. Uh, so yeah, we'll activate everyone with Hawes here. Hawes and the Greenies will take a shot. They do have one, two, three. So yeah, they'll they'll target them there, and they're going to do a four. And let's see if I actually hit that orchard. Oops. Uh, just wiggle right through those two trees there, it looks like. So I don't think there's a hindrance. Uh, so it will be 4 plus... Okay, 4 plus 8 is 12. Four. Okay, so we got a few Stellari who are I 7. And they're just in the open and they're moving. Uh, 14, they're fine. They are fine. Good place to stop. A few Stellari in the back are going to move. They're going to go 1 and gain the point from the road. Okay. They're going to go 2-3 and climb over the head. All right. And then the Solari with the light machine gun are going to move on to the road behind Lieutenant Pine. I think that's it. Okay, next order. Let's see. We're going to play here. Let's make this ominous. We're going to activate Sergeant Carboni and his literal mob. The surging mob. Using, using an advance, the mob is going to surge. In a hex graded fashion. Sure. And since I'm not defender, you don't have to worry about anything on that. Okay. And that's an order. Third order. Uh, okay, let's do 
We'll move and we'll activate Sergeant Marcello and his squads. Okay, Sergeant Marcello is going to move into the stone building for three. I suppose I can move into the road, but then I'm going to leave people behind. Fusilieri above him are going to move into the wooden building. Three. The Fusilieri behind them are going to move. I guess I should continue the move of the top Fusilieri into the open road for four. Then I should move the Fusilieri here. Well, they have to go over a hedge. They're not going to be able to make it. So tiring movement. <laughs> All right. What's a hedge? Is that plus one? Okay, so that's two, and they're already being left behind. Distressing. Nigel, then... you've got all our guns! <laughs> yeah. And then the black shirts below them will advance as nearly as far as they can go across a fence. That, that wins them. Drunk as they are. All right, I guess that's it. Next order, and it's over to you. All right. I'm drawing up. That was a very ominous... Surge. We hear voices in the night off in the distance. Uh, I am going to discard two and draw back up. Back to you. Oh, okay. Could be any smoke grenades here today from the Union of British. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to help you. Okay, let's do let's do a little shooting. Why not? I'll activate Lieutenant Penny, and I can't see. I'll activate. These guys will be targeting that hex, which is inconvenient for me. Okay, so the line of sight, we're going to use the heavy machine gun here. Looks like it crosses, it crosses the brush to me. It does. It nicks it, yep. So that's a three hindrance. So I've got a seven base with a machine gun, eight with a light MG, a nine with that squad, and then a 10 with the second light MG. Okay, that sounds right. And then minus three for the brush is a seven, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then I roll a die. Ooh. Ooh. I put an 18 into the chat. Wow. Well, we are a seven, and uh, it's three minus one because of the road there. So uh, we're a nine. Nine against 18. All right, here's the shot. Nope, they got a break. Bloody squad. Oi! All right, I guess that's it for that order. I've been tiny tot! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you what? Right, I've been get... shot! <laughs> oh, we should have uh, boned up on our Cockney rhyming slang, yeah, for sure. Okay, let's do this surging mob again. Still the ominous surging mob. Uh, is there any point to going? May as well just go straight at it right now. These guys are going to die. That's all right. It's hard not to use a surging mob when you've got one. Okay, that's it from them. And then a third order. No, I don't think I have a third order. I think that's it. I think it, I'm going to draw up and it's over to you. I think it's time to do an advance order. Seeing the surging mob approaching the gatehouse, uh, Hawes is going to say, Right, let's take a step back, mates. And we do. Next order. And then we're going to attempt a recover on these blokes up here. So they are now a seven. So here's the check. And they fail. Boo! All right. And that is all. So back to you. Yeah, let's play a route on you. Let's see if these guys will run off. Could be. So, they're at a five, a four? Is that right? Uh, they are at a uh, five plus two for the building, so they're a seven. Oh, there's a building. Yeah. Okay, a seven. Here we go. Close. Oh, nothing. Next order. Okay, we're going to try the same shot again, I guess. Okay. As long as I've got them on the ropes. And that was a ten minus three for a seven last time. That's right. And it's a... Okay. And we are once again a 7 plus... 7, 14. That's not enough. So they are going to die. But we have an event first. Sappers. Uh, that does not help. Okay. So they are eliminated, and I'm going to give you a VP. So 
let's do main function eliminate and one access VP to you. You've scared off the kids. All right, so that, there we go. That's my second order and then a third order. What can this undisciplined mob do? Not much. There. All right, I'm done. I'm going to draw. I'm going to discard two and draw two. Back to you. Okay, let's get out there. Let's move. Move while the moving is good. Right, I'm going to activate Lieutenant Panny and his squads. Let's see if I can not mess this up. So do my best to add sort of a, like one of those old sound effects albums, you know, just <laughs> random noise into your, into your broadcast. The, You'll hear like the a clunking of like, later, slowly know. I turned and the sounds came up the stairs. Okay, so the Fusilari are going to move. They're going to go one, two over the fence and gain a point. And then they're going to go, I think, got to think. It's the hardest part. I hear you. All right. They're going to come into here. Another two. Okay. Um, I will activate to fire. And we're going to activate everyone with haws again. Okay. Uh, let's make sure I got lines of sight here. I do. All right. So. The sturdy British wall stands in your way, though. That is true. All right. So the territorials will take point. So they will be five, six for the light machine gun, and seven with the greens. Um, so that's seven. And I will play marksmanship to make it nine. I will play marksmanship to make it 11. And it's 11 plus. 8 is 19. Well, I don't love the sound of that, but all right. Uh, so 19, we count the wall, though? What's that? Is that um, that's cover? That's it is, two, I guess. It, if it's and larger I mean, than your cover, if you did not have any cover, it would be... Let's see what it is. Yeah, my, the cover for brush is 1, right? So yeah. I guess it is better. Yeah. So I'm at a 9... No worries. Didn't work. Okay, so they're broken. All right, continuing the movement, the Fusilari up uh, north will go one, two, three. Then Lieutenant Panny will go one, two, three. Okay, I think we got a shot there. Oh. Uh, we do. Okay, so uh, Hawes' greenies will do a, a four shot there, uh, plus crossfire, make it six. Six, six plus, uh, six or eight is fourteen. Okay, so the squad is a. Let's see. It's a eight with Lieutenant Panny, and then plus two for the wall is a ten minus one for the road. Right. That is right. So a nine, and they're fine. And Lieutenant Panny is the same thing. Uh, a ten. He's fine. Okay, and meanwhile, these guys have to climb over a hedge. That could be... <laughs> no, it's just plus one. They can manage it. What are they? I got four movement points. I've put all the good guys up here. So that's two, and then three. So I have passed my combat commander test and actually managed to keep these guys <laughs> together. A combat cohesion, really. Yeah. I, I failed that test in the south, but I passed in the north. Now, was that my first order? Yes, it was. That was. Okay, so that's we're done with that. Second order. Not exactly hand I want. It's not a bad hand. I'm not going to complain. Not yet. I'll complain later. Because the gods of combat commander are cruel, Patrick, as you know. And fickle. Okay, I'm going to play a recover. No, that's always good. So these guys are in... What are they in? Is there a, no, they're just in the brush. So that's cover one. And so that's a seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Achieved nothing. Uh, but I do get a sniper out of it. Let's see where that is. Oh, no, that's not helpful, gentlemen. <laughs> Some light arms fire going off in the ranks. Okay. And then a third order I am going to pass on. And I'm going to drop, and it's over to you. All right. I am going to just draw back up my severely depleted hand. And it's back to you. Okay, I'm going to take advantage of the um, 
special power this scenario gives me to okay so i'm going to use that as an advance and uh you know this is too entertaining i don't i don't know that it's accomplishing anything but i i'm enjoying it so i'm going to continue <laughs> to move this giant Step. light green blob towards the prison niagara falls slowly i turned step by step well that feels good i like that last scenario my belgians got right up to the, the lock house or whatever it was and promptly froze and then they died right yes and then they died because they they moved in for the advance and i had an ambush but it was not the three ambushes that the germans had of course which i felt was you know <laughs> frankly a little unsporting what it was it was in bad taste. it was not cricket is what it was but these guys are in the open i think they should probably be shot but first let's try to rally these doofuses again okay so i'm going to try to rally i'm going to play recover action and these guys were I should remember this number, but I didn't, so they're, a, what, a seven. Okay, so now they're, what, suppressed? Suppressed, all right. So that's even, they're even worse off. Good job, guys. How uh, about an event? I guess I should do the event first, technically. Mm -hmm. uh, draw one open objective chit. Well, well that's going to well, be exciting. Well. That yes. could change things dramatically or not. We'll see. Here it comes. Four. Where is four? Uh, I believe oh. I four. So go ahead and reveal that. Oh, I'm sorry. That's yeah, all right. All right. So four is the gatehouse. Three. Interesting. And it's worth four oh, yeah. victory points. That is currently mine. So we will give it to me for four victory yes. points. Yes. Currently, but there is a... There is a, uh, or a surging mob. A sea green mob coming That's towards right. you. All right. Well, then I will do some shooting because why not? Because these guys are in the open and that needs to get shot. Okay, so we're going to activate those guys, and they're the only ones who can see. They're going to target uh, Sergeant Hawes. Kind of timely that they have a machine gun. Yes. Okay, so that's uh, seven for the machine gun and one for the fusilary. So that's an eight. And I think it's just a straight eight. Yeah, that's a 17 coming at you. Oh, I'm sorry. Sniper, let's see. Okay. He's nowhere. All right. So it is two rolls to me, and they are 17. So uh, it's eight and eight. So eight for the squad first. Uh, they will break. Oh, excuse me. The team, rather. Uh, and uh, eight for Hawes. And he breaks. Well, you love to see it. And that's it for me. I'm drawing up. Well, that took a turn. Okay, let's do this then. And I'll activate Hawes' stack there. And they both have one. So they'll both go right to there. Uh, and that is all. Make me come in there, huh? All right. Yeah, don't make me come in there. All right. Uh, and fire order. And we'll do it from from Chatham. And he will target Pawnee here. So we've got four, five, six. Six with no reduction. Here we go. Six plus. Six and five, eleven. Okay, and uh, I've got uh, two from the wall, but one taken away from the road. Right? So right. I've got a fusillary at a, let's see, an eight, nine. So they're fine. And then Lieutenant Pani is a, a 10. He's fine. All right. That is all for that order. And that is all I'm going to do. I will draw it back to you. Go seafoam green blob. In they come. And I think that gives me four. It actually gives you eight. So, yeah, because it's four for you. Oh, and I, four yeah, I meant from, Yeah, eight total. Okay, so I'll add four axis VPs twice. Yep. There you go. Very nicely done. Yeah, I don't think the gatehouse is going to stand long for many of our games. It's just, especially with this one being worth points now. 
if Sergeant Hawes is, could just sidle up a little closer, that would be <laughs> Right. Okay, so we're going to move. We're going to okay. get these guys down south moving again. We've got Sergeant Marcello and the three stacks that I've managed to keep in combat readiness mm -hmm. uh, can still move. Okay, so let's see if I can do this done. The Fusilari, they've got four. So they're going to go... Um, I'm going to go one, two, three. Sergeant Marcello, he's got four points, so it's one. I'm getting an additional point. Two, let's say three. And lastly, these black shirts. Before you do that, <laughs> let me see here. Yep. I think I got line of sight. I do have line of sight there, so I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to do a okay. fire action. And we'll target them. I'm going to activate these guys. So just the light machine gun is the only thing firing because that's the only thing with range. Uh, we'll do sustained fire. So it'll be a five. And then we'll do crossfire because they're moving. Make it seven. So here's a seven plus. Four. Boo! Okay. All right. I've got uh, seven, nine for the black shirts. Fine. And then Sergeant Marcello is a ten. He's fine. Okay. And meanwhile, these black shirts back here, who I was trying not to leave behind, I now realize of my plan. Well, I guess I can get them going, right? Not really. They're so slow. Drunk, I Staggered, think. right. Stagger, stagger. Crawl, crawl. All right, they'll just go in the building. Uh, there's no reason to do anything fancy. Okay. I'm going to play a move. Activate Pani and his group. Got a broken squad here now. <laughs> Brush is two, so they can't even get out of the... Oh, they can't move at all. They're down to zero because they've managed to suppress themselves. It's all rather regrettable. All right, so the Fusilari here are going to follow the road. Okay. For one. And then... Did we say two? Yeah, because it's one, because they're following the road. Okay. And then, well, some of you have gone one, two, three. They've gone three. I guess they may as well go four. Sure. I think that's far enough. Then Lieutenant Panny is going to go one, two, three. And then the light MG is going to crawl over this for two, three. Okay, and that's it, and I'm drawing up. I am going to play a recover. And we'll start with Hawes, who is a nine. He rallies. And now he makes the greens there, uh, which I cannot see. It's, they make some of a six. So a six. And they rally. Oh! -ho. Very nicely done, boys. Stiff up a lip and all that. Right. Next order, and drawing back up to you, sir. Okay, well, I can't pass this up. I don't know why I'm stalling here. <laughs> Lieutenant Pani and his men get activated, and they're, of course, going to shoot the redoubtable Sergeant Hawes. <laughs> Let's see, that gives me a... So we've got the machine gun, so that's a 7, and then the MG is an 8. And then this one fusillary can hit, so that's a 9. So it's a nine coming at you. Yeah, that's not a great result. But... 13, okay. So from bottom up, we've got uh, eight, eight, and eight. So that's easy. All right, so the territorial's first at eight. I hate to do this this early, but I can't afford to have them. Well, let's see. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to pass the card to you. Okay. So they are an 8 once again. They're good. And then the team is an 8. He is good. You had a 14? 13. Okay. I got a 14. And Hawes is 8. And he's good. Well, still got something out of it. Yeah, you got a gift. It is a gift. So what is my discard? Uh... 
Italian discard is uh, it's two, on the card. two cards. Or, yeah, you can drop two cards. Okay. Uh, just for future reference. Okay, so two cards. All right, let's see. Well, let's play, a, I don't know, let's play a recover. See if these guys can pull out of their funk. Uh, they are at a six. Oh, I believe. and before you do that, get rid of that suppression marker. Oh, yes, right. So they're at a seven. Fail. Oh, snipers in our rear. That accomplished nothing, but still. And then what? Okay, we're going to play a move. These guys, the giant blob could run across the open, but they wouldn't have enough energy to actually... So I think instead we're going to activate Sergeant Marcello and his group. Of course, they're going to move one. Okay. Two, three. And Sergeant Marcello is going to go one, two, three. And that is it for me. I'm drawing up. Ian, did you bring the grappling hook? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. Left it. All right. I, I also cannot pass up the opportunity to fire. So I'm going to do some shots here with Hawes' stack. Okay. Uh, we'll start with the Territorials. They will shoot at Pawnee up here. And they are a... Let's see. Yeah, they are six. Six plus. Nine is 15. I don't care for that. I don't like the sound of that at all. All right, let's see what we got. Standing, oh, I'm in a building, but there's a road, and there's a wall. It's too much math for me. I'm done. Let's see. <laughs> well, the wall doesn't count because the building's the bigger, so it, you've got a cover of two. So it's two. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we start with the bottom squad. They get the one from Penny, so they are a 10. All right, and then there's Pony, who is an 11. And he is okay, but just, just barely. Just barely. All right. Um, let's see here. Let's check this. Do. All right, so we'll do the uh, the light machine gun and the green team with it. We'll do them together, and I'll throw in sustained fire. So the greens are three, uh, four for Hawes, and then five for the light machine gun, six, seven. Yeah, so seven total plus eight is 15. And you're shooting at the broken The broken, spot. yeah. Okay, and they've got, what, two for the wall? So, uh, that's eight. Oh, suppressed. I consider that a good result. Yeah. Okay, and that is all for that order. I'm going to draw back up, and it's to you, sir. All right, well, let's keep going. I'm going to shoot. It's going to be uh, Pawnee and his men. All right, so we're start targeting uh, Sergeant Hawes. So I'm going to do just the MG alone. Oh, wait, the MG gets the lead. Does the MG get the leader bonus or no? It sure does, yeah. So it's a seven. Okay. So it's a seven, and I'm going to play um, sustained fire. Come on, double. Make it a nine. Oh, okay. 13. It's a 13 coming at them. Yeah, and we're three eights again. So squad is good. Team is suppressed. That's not good. And Hawes is also suppressed. All right, and then I'm going to fire the MG in the squad, so that's a 4-5 coming at them. Okay. 5 and oh, another 13. All right. So now it's going to be uh, 8, 7, and 7. So, all right, so eight for the squad. They're good, seven for the team. Good with an event. Breeze, we don't have any smoke, no fire. And then Hawes, he is a seven. Another event. Prisoner of War. Eliminate one broken friendly unit. Uh, luckily, nobody is broken. Whew. That could have been ugly. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Well, that was that. And then I'm done. I'm drawn up. 
All right, let's try a route first. We'll see if we can't route these fusiliary hiding and cowering in the brush outside of the wall. So they are a five, and I get an eight. So they route immediately off the map. Right, but plus one for the brush is all I'm saying. Yeah, so they're they're five with the suppression, plus one is six. Oh yes, but it's still uh it's still two more than that. So they go up here and off map. Because until Romero is discovered, you route to your closest map side. Okay, yep. Special rule two. Okay. Good riddance. Yes. Dead beats. All right, two points back for me. Taking that. One less machine gun I need to worry about. So that's that order. Next order. Um, I think I will do a recover. And we'll get rid of these suppression markers. Remove. And next order. And that is all I can do. So I will draw back up. I am discarding two and drawing up. Okay. What are we doing on cards? Well, we're tied on cards. Look at that. 18 apiece. And where do your reinforcements come in? Do they come in from the board edge or? Yes. Yeah. Left side. Yeah. Doesn't look like there's a special rule. Right. Yeah. Uh, I just forgotten completely they were up there on the time track. So hold on, boys. Okay. What are we going to do now? I think do a fire order. We'll do it up here with Hawes, and we're going to target Pawnee again, and we'll start with the light machine gun by itself. Uh, it's three, four with Hawes. I'm going to throw in Spray Fire, because it's got box range, and we'll target these Fusiliary too. So it is a four plus. 7 is 11. Well, let's start with the fusillary. They got what? They're on the road, but they got a wall, so it's 8. Okay, they're all right, and there's an event. Suppressing suppress one enemy unit in a hex within both range and line of sight of a friendly machine gun. Mm -hmm. okay. Good timing on that one. Yeah, let's see who we're going to suppress. We're going to suppress... Um, Let's suppress the Territorials. Oh, the ones with me. Okay, yes, yeah. that makes sense. <laughs> Not the ones who are guarding the building. Sure, either. of course. There you go. They are suppressed. And then for, let's see, Pawnee squads, they're at plus two, so their Fusilier are at ten, so obviously they make it, and then Pawnee is a eleven, so he has to make it, but we will roll the dice, and he's fine, and I burn a perfectly good ten. Uh-huh. All right, so next we're going to have... Uh, we'll have the Territorials that are now suppressed, and they'll shoot these guys here, and uh, they're going Hardly to... Hardly sporting. <laughs> I know that guy! His friend's my cousin! <laughs> he can barely stand up, come on. <laughs> right. uh, so does four, and I'm going to throw in some hand grenades. Cause oh, we... that now... Definitely not. You're really you're laying it on thick now. That's right. So six plus thirteen. Event. Ooh, and one unit becomes a veteran. Well, I would say the ones that just got shot at with that suppressing fire, they are veterans now. And it's thirteen to you. Okay, and I've got uh, what an eight here. Mm -hmm. Wow. It actually worked. <laughs> All right, and uh, Hawes will he'll pull out his little Webley and uh, he'll shoot in the building there with one plus eight is nine. And I'm a seven. Okay, they're fine. Okay, that is all for that order. And we'll draw back up. And it is T, sir. All right, let's move. Keep. Sergeant Marcello and his team crawling along the bottom here towards their eventual goal. I should crawl along the wall. One, two, three, four. Okay. And Marcello. Oh my god. One, two, three, four. Ugh. 
These guys are the worst. He's the brains of the outfit. <laughs> he's managed. He's managed to get one squad there still under his command. But all right, the next order. Well, I guess we're gonna shoot again. Someday this is gonna work. Someday I'm gonna draw a good number, and then big trouble. Dividing Pawnee and his squad. All right, I'm going to do them all together this time. So it's a seven, eight, nine. Okay, there you go, 18. No worries. Nothing to laugh at. Hmm, okay. So the veterans now offset their suppression, so they're uh, eight. Yeah, so I got eight, eight, eight again. So here's the squad is eight plus. They break. Wow, you guys are really taking it. Uh, the team is a seven. They're going to break with an event. The event is Hero! Bum, ba, da, bum. Smy that comes in. Some nonsense is what this is. This <laughs> utter nonsense. All right, and uh, Sergeant Hawes. Oh. <laughs> and Hawes. Uh, he breaks. And does Smythe get shot because he's there now? He does or no? not. He was not there when the fire okay. happened yet. Fair enough. No combat commander. And, uh, however, I am overstacked there, so I, uh, that's not good. Um, let me rethink where I want to put him then. Uh, I don't want to put him overstacked there, so we'll put him down with this one, and I will still break that territorial. So there you go. If that affects what your next order will be, uh, it doesn't, but uh, I I appreciate it. I'm gonna actually my next order is I'm just gonna draw up. Okay. All right, we're gonna do a fire order, and it's gonna be Chatham up here, and he is going to draw a bead on those lights in the building there, and they are uh, six, and we're gonna throw in. These are just guys from the local pub that got a little, you know, they got swept up. They don't even know what's happening. That's right. Uh, so it's eight with the marksmanship. Take, uh, take aim, boys. So eight plus ten, eighteen. <laughs> okay. So so ends Nia, Ian greatest... and Nigel, maybe? Yeah, that, that could be. All right, hold on. All the stops have to be broken out here. Let me see if I got anything. Sure. No, I got nothing. Okay, so they're at a, uh, a seven, I believe. They are seven. But I believe in them. Here it comes. That's not good enough, guys. Okay, so they're gone. All right, so it'll take a point. Allied VP. Okay. And uh, that is all for that order. Okay, let's see what we can do. I'm going to play a couple of Command Confusions. Uh, I'm going to discard them. And I am going to advance the blob nonetheless. And forward comes the blob. Come forward, blob. Okay, that's one order. What else shall we do? I think that's all I've got. Okay. I'm drawing up. Well, well, let's see here. Um, I think I'll do a, do a recover. See if we can't get all these guys not about to die. So we'll remove the suppression. Uh, we'll start with Hawes first. Hawes is a nine. And he gets a rally. Hooray. And now we'll go to the territorials. They are a six, seven, eight. And they rally. Let's see. Let's do the greens. Oh no, the greens are a six. And they do not rally. Boo! Alright. That's the end of that order. I will draw my remaining card. And that will get a time advance. So, I will advance the time. And no smoke. And I am recon, so no victory point for me. Any dig-ins? I have a dig-in. Do that action there, and I'll put in a foxhole. There we go. That is my digging. You are, you are taking my breath away. Apparently, I can't use push to torque unless I reinstall this. Oh, okay. No, uh, no problem. Yes, I have plenty of diggings. Fantastic. 
uh, because these artillery requests are not helping me. So I'm going to do two of them. Okay. I guess I'll give uh, one set to the black shirts who are now in harm's way. Of course. And uh, let's stick a second set on these fusillari up towards. All right. And uh, that is the end of my time advance. So it is back to you. All right. Well, we're going to discard two command confusion again to continue to blobify myself. Blobbing on. Ooze my way around. Sure. Okay. So you have located Lieutenant Romero. And, Fantastic. Uh, you will get 5 VP for that, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay, and then I'm on to my next order, which is going to be a, a move. I'm going to activate Lieutenant Piney and his men. And uh, I'm going to move myself Fusillary over the wall for uh, two movement points. Okay, well, what do you say we shoot? I'll see if I can take their breath away. You feel you must. So our Territorials will activate there. They are five. I will add Marksmanship there to make it six, seven. Crossfire, make it nine. Another Crossfire to make it 11. Targeting them, so 11 plus five, 16. All right, so they're just a straight seven, right? Okay, so they do not make it. Okay, Lieutenant Panny's squads are gonna. Let's, they're gonna move into the foxholes. Okay. Take a shot at them. One. Yep. So uh, it's five plus. Ooh, sixteen. So they're in foxholes, but in a road. So the fusillary is what ten. Uh, in any event, they don't make it. And then Pani is. Uh, 11. And he's, what was it? so he breaks as well, I guess. Okay, well, that could have gotten better. And then the, let's see, the light MG is going to move up into the building. Okay. Okay, so that's that order. And then the last order, I'm going to play a recover. Uh, of course. Of course. Why not? So we got the Fusillary, they're just straight six. They don't make it, but something happens. Uh, I can remove a mines or a wire. Well, that's not exciting. <laughs> and meanwhile, I've got the Fusillary are at eight. They do not make it. Oh, and then that's time. Okay. Okay, I got a reshuffle. And uh, sudden death. No defender. No smoke. Do you have any... Oh, reinforcements. Remind me where Romero sets up. Uh, anywhere in the, in the prison in a friendly hex. Okay, I'm going to put them with these black shirts here. And then dig in, so you have it. Uh, nope, I'm good. Okay, and then I had not rolled for Penny, is that right? Uh, I don't believe... Mm, he's a... Tr he did the... Yeah, he's a 12. First one... Yeah, he just did the first yeah, one, right? Well, I did the first two, but neither of them made it. So Penny's a 12. So, it's luckily he's a minus. Alright. Alright. And that is it. And I'm drawn up. All right. And I depleted my entire hand, so I am drawing back up as well. Back to you. Okay, I'm going to discard a couple of Convan Confusion for the usual effects. Sure. Sure. Now we get a little tricky here. I'm going to activate them all with Romero and then without Carbone. Okay, that's one order. What's up next? Somebody's gonna move. I suspect it's gonna be Sergeant Marcello. One, two, three. And I think that is it for me. I'm drawing up. 
going to play a fire orb. And we'll have Hawes shoot at the foxholes right, right adjacent to him. So it will be 6, 7 with the territorials, 8 with the green, 9 for Hawes himself in there. So 9 plus 16 with an event. And command and control. So I get 3 VP currently. 3 VP added. Okay, 16 to you. Okay, so 12 plus that, so they're okay. Next up is the green squad. They're uh, 8, 11. They're okay. And then we have Sergeant Carboni, who is an 11. He's fine, and Romero, who is uh, 12. And he's fine, and then there's Sniper. Oh, hello. Oh. Well, I think Lieutenant Chatham's getting shot. Oh, no. Not very sporting. Or shivved, maybe, <laughs> perhaps. I will do a move order. We'll have Smythe come out, come play. It'll go one to there. Okay. Uh, two, three, four, five. Well, anything there? Nope. Okay. And six to there. Um, next order, he'll move again. And he'll go three and take control of the guardhouse once again for eight points. Four. Uh, next order, and I am done. Back to you. Uh, I discarded two and drew up. I'm going to discard two and draw two. Back to you. Let's play a recover. And starting with the Fusillary, they're at a six. They don't recover. It's an event. I increase my surrender level by one. Okay. There are many ways this game could be decided. I suspect that is not the one that's going <laughs> that's to true. decide it. But. All right, and then the Fusillary who are in the Foxholes are a eight, nine. And they also fail and drain an 11 out of me. Hand, and that accomplished nothing. Okay, so next order. Okay, we're going to shoot. We're going to activate uh, Lieutenant Romero and the boys. The blob, as it were. They're going to shoot at everybody except Carboni is going to shoot at Sergeant Hawes' hex. So using the black shirts, that's a six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, I think. Okay, and a roll. So it's a 21, but there's what, a sniper. And that's nothing. All right. Uh, we are eight, nine, so 12, 9, and 11. 12, 9, 11. Okay, so squad first 12. Uh, breaks, just barely. Uh, the team, it's a nine, most assuredly, going to break, and they're gone. So I will do the sniper, and oh, that was close. But I will eliminate them and give you, you can take a VP. And then Hawes himself is, uh, what did I say he was? He's 11, 11 plus. Oh, and he makes it, well, he suppresses. There you go. Okay, and then the next order. Okay, I guess I will play a route on you. And who is eligible to be routed? Just uh, these guys in Hawes' hex, I believe. And Chatham. 
All right. Well, let's do let's do Chatham first. He's a thirteen. Here it comes. Oh, wasted. <laughs> All right, and then the territorials are a ten. Oh no, eleven, I believe. Uh, yeah. So sure. they're not going to go anywhere. So this was this was a waste. And that's it. Let it get the card out of my hand. Okay, and then I'm done. I'm drawing up. Okay. That is not point oh. But we'll uh, we'll take a shot here. Let's see if we can't make up some points on that. So those territorials will activate, and they'll shoot at the open fusillary there. Uh, with a five plus six is eleven Z's. Okay, they're just a six. And you make it. So they're okay. Next order. Uh, we'll draw back up. Send it to you. Okay. I'm gonna try to clear the way. Yeah. Gonna activate a fire card. We're gonna activate Romero's blob again, and we're gonna target this time. We're gonna target. Uh, Chatham's. Oh boy. <laughs> that was not it. That's the incoming Merv that I've called in. <laughs> the British fascists have developed ICBMs early. and uh, Okay, so we're going to do that and we're going to play hand grenades. 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, I believe. Plus. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the initiative. Okay. Thirteen plus. <laughs> so worthwhile. All right. So we are at ten and a thirteen. So ten for the squad. They make it. Oh no, they don't. They break. Break. And thirteen for Chatham. And uh, I will. I will take that. So here is time advance. Uh, resetting my deck to draw a pile. Any dig ins? Nope. Okay. So he make they both make it, or one make it, one didn't. Okay. Next order. Okay, we're gonna play move. I'm actually, gonna activate these guys way down here. I've been forgotten. They've gotten out of their drunken stupor and they're gonna they're gonna start to move. Alright, so that's one and then two. I think that's they got an extra for the uh, I think they're gonna stay there. And as my second order, I'm gonna um, play a second move and I'm gonna move this second squad up. There are four movements, so it's one, two, and three. And what, what the heck, they should probably move up here for four. I guess they have one more, huh? I think they'll stay there. And then I'm done and I'm drawing up. An advance order. And we'll have Chatham advance there. Next order, and we'll do a move order. And have Smythe move there. Any reaction? Nope. Then he'll move there. And next order. And that is my two. So drawing back up. Let's move. It's been fun seeing you boys, but it's time for me. And I will activate Romero's blob, but not Carboni. Oh no. Not Carboni. Never a carboni. See you on the flip side, suckers. Yeah. All right, well, first let's move the black shirts. They're going to head here. We will do a fire action. Okay. All right, and it will be them under Hawes. And let's see, you got three for territorials plus command, so four. Four to there. So here's four plus. I'll, I'll take it. All right. So let's do time advance. Reset the deck. And reinforcements first. Uh, yeah. 
So, reinforcements. Okay. So, Nettles arrives. And he's got to be over here somewhere. So, let me see where I'm going to put all these. That is my reinforcement. Uh, any dig ins? Sorry, that was a no. Oh, okay. Uh, I do have a dig in, so I'll play it on this new territorial there. What? 12 plus 4, 16 to you. They're a uh, 9, right? So they're fine. Okay. Okay, continuing the movement. Let's bring these black shirts down here. Okay. Good. And they get tired. It's <laughs> so busy walking. so tiring walking through the prison. You got smokes here. Uh, then I'm going to move these guys here. Right. So here's another 4 plus 13 with a sniper. Oh, and uh, yeah, we'll we will definitely break those fusiliary there. Okay, thirteen, and I'm a nine. Right, fine, but tired. Uh, okay, let's see. So, okay, Romero and his guys will move out. Well, the objective is to be revealed. Oh yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so let me move them out of the way. And you get another victory point. Hurrah! So, Axis 1. There you go. Okay, so Romero moves. Okay, okay so he moves. Out he goes. Right, here's 4 plus. Here's 4 is 8. Ah, finally. Finally your dice foo runs out. Okay, so it's uh, 8 for the first guy. 7 for those guys. Uh, 9. Somebody's fine. And then into the building he goes. Back into prison. Okay. Another four See, plus three. There we go. Another time. Wow. Yeah. All right. So. Okay. Well. Another s be over soon, at least. <laughs> All right. So uh, time advance. Reset deck. To draw a pile. Uh, no reinforcements, no smoke, any diggins now. Uh, nope. Okay. And 16 to you. Uh, so the bottom guy is an 11. So he's alright, but there's an event. Cowers, suppress all friendly squads that are currently within a friendly leader's command radius. I think that's it. Not, oh, currently within. Yeah, I guess that's it. 18, so he's okay. The green team is a 10. Okay, and then Romero himself is a 12. And he's okay. And uh, let's just keep these uh, here. This green team will go crawl into this foxhole with Sergeant Carboni. Okay. Here's a four. Drawing fire to him. <laughs> no doubt. Here's another four. Go away. It's 11 with an event. Yeah, reinforcements. Okay, yeah. Okay. Nettles calls in more people. Uh, here is the roll in 1940. It's a nine, so I could get uh, Lieutenant O'Malley. Uh, I could get a guard squad, and that's it. So I believe I could use small leadership, actually. So we'll bring Lieutenant O'Malley in. Uh, and it is... I'll put him with the territorials up there. So, it was just 11. Let's see, it's... Uh, I'm going to start with the team. They're uh, 8 9. Impressive. Okay, wow. The tide's really gone out in like one round here. Alright, and then Carboni. So, he's an 11. So he's all right. Okay. So that's that order. I'm going to discard a couple of command confusions to advance. It's going to be Pani and his guys. Pani's going to move into the building. These guys are going to move into the foxholes. These guys are going to wait for death. No, I guess they're going to go hide. Well, walk. All right, so they're going to go hide behind the wall. All right, and last order. Uh, all right, I think I'm going to be done, and I'm going to draw up. Well, I am going to 
discard three cards and draw back up. Back to you. I'm going to discard two and then draw. Alrighty. This. So we'll do a. We'll stay with the ones that brung us. We'll fire Haw's a stack again. And he'll target these guys for four. Uh, four plus. Crappy. Seven. It's two cards. Starting with the team. Oh, so just. Two, two, two pulls, yeah. Uh, all right, next order. Let's see if we can have a little bit better luck with a route order. All right, so we'll start up here with the Fusillary, uh, still going towards closest map edge, so there are five there on the road. Uh, check. Six. And go off map. Okay, uh, so uh, they... Uh, eliminate 2VP. Alright, um, let's do the greens here with Carp... Uh, you got one under Panny, so... Uh, those Fusillary are a 10. So there's 10. Uh, they're not going anywhere. Then the greenies are... 5, 6, 7, 8 under them. They're not going anywhere. And then finally, these Fusillary down here by the wall. Six. No, there's six. Yeah, so it's an eight. So I guess they're going to go down two. All right. That is all, all right? Yep. Next order. Those are my two. Back to you. All right, I'll play a recover. There's the guys under Panny. They're a 10. Oh, they make it. It's a sniper. Nowhere. Okay, there's the greens in the foxhole. They're a 8. All right, well, that's at least point saved. And then and these guys are in what? Orchard? Is that anything? So it's a Plus one. six, I guess. But they're on the road, so. Uh, all right. Great close for these. There you go. Well, you can't ask for more than that. Hmm. Okay, next order. Well, well, well. What are we going to do? I can't win this, I don't think, but I think I try to run for it. We are going to activate these guys under Lieutenant Panny. Okay, these guys are going to move. All right, Lieutenant Panny is going to advance directly into the open. I suppose we'll have to do a fire action on that. The territorial's there. And they're going to throw in some crossfire. So I'll have a 7 at them. Uh, 8 is 15. Let's start at the bottom. It's, what is it, uh, 8. So that's 15, so they're suppressed, I believe. Uh, they break because they're moving. Oh, right. And then we have an event. Suppress one unit in a hex with less than one cover. That's going to be one of me, I suspect. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, here, down here. Down at the bottom. Okay. Suppressed. So they broke. They broke. Right, right, right. So then it's uh, Pawnee is a nine. And he also does not make it. All right, so the guys up top, the fusillary up top, are heading up the road there. Okay, I don't have a shot at them. And that's it. Move on to my next order. And another move. We'll do some kind of chaotic nonsense with Romero. These guys, I guess. All right, Romero, what are you doing? Good lord, these people are slow. I'm going to have to trudge through the building. You wouldn't think it'd be that hard to trudge through a building, but apparently it is. Lots of bars in there and locks, I'm thinking. Yeah. 
if I activate them, do they have to move? I guess it doesn't. One, I guess they don't. Just one of them has to move. Yeah. So Romero's gonna. Romero's running for it, and by himself. Okay. Two. All right. Three, four, five, six. He gets the one from the road. He's gonna jump in here with these guys. Uh, there you are, sir. We didn't know what Flea's gonna do. Now, these guys down here are uh, activated, and I. Gosh, if I only had a leader who could get more. I guess he's thinking they're going to trudge up here. Okay. All right. Well, I guess if it's building, they'll go there. Okay. And that is that order. When I got one more, should I use it? I am done, and I'm drawing up. I guess I will do a move order with Lieutenant O'Malley here. And they'll go two and four to there. Next order. I will draw back up, and it's to you. I guess I will play Fire Order, activate the guys under Romero, without activating Romero. Okay. I'm going to target O'Malley. Not O'Malley! They've got a 6-7. Chain, and there's an event, and it is... Minus three hindrance. A prisoners were eliminate one broken friendly unit adjacent to an enemy. Is there, oh yeah, there is. Fantastic. Fantastic. Why not? Why not? Uh, I have a choice. Sure. All right, I'll just kill Panny. Okay. He's a he was a one leader, right? Uh, yep. All right. So two VP. All right. We got eleven and twelve. So eleven for the squad. They are okay, and 12, good. Uh, I think this is effectively over, but let's just have Romero run roll, run forward for role-playing purposes. Okay, yeah. here he comes. <laughs> right, he's two. He's good there. Fantastic. Three, four. Right. So many hedges. So many over. hedges. We will shoot at him there. Sir, this coming. Prisoner in the hedge. Right. Okay, so uh, they are a six, S yeah, six um, plus four, ten. Look at that. Okay, he's all right. Uh, five six. All right, another shot. Six plus eight, fourteen. Ha ha, he's a brave and cunning man. <laughs> this is like the end of uh, The Greatest right, Sleep, right? right. This is like Steve, <laughs> Steve McQueen. Ring! Over the hit. Uh, that is sadly as far as he can go. Where is the plus two movement point card? That's what I really need. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I guess I'm done. And I'm drawn up. Ah. Right. Uh, really? Huh. Well, I guess I miscalculated. All right. I uh, reshuffle my deck, and then the sudden death roll. Uh, first, oh, I make the hit that uh, time advance button up there. Oh yeah, yeah, the time. There roll. you go. And the sudden death roll. So what is it? It's a. Uh, so if it's on, under six. Under six, right? We can okay. keep on going. All right. Why not? Okay. Well, sir, let's uh, let's do. You recover. And let's see if we can't recover Chatham. So he is a 13 in that building. And he does rally. And then the Territorials are now a 10. And they also rally. Okay. Uh, next order. Order them to shoot. Got that medium machine gun out there. Uh, so now they are a six plus five. Sadly, eleven. But they're a six. And look at that! They made it. All right. Is that suppressed? Uh, no, the, right. you got a twelve. I only had eleven. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> I'm the same way. All right. Uh, next order. That is my two orders, and I'm drawing back up. 
sending it to you. Oh, and I forgot to remove my suppression markers over here, and I still had a uh, I had one territory I forgot, so let me do him here real quick. Uh, Hawes, he should be pretty good, but there you go. Yeah, so they rally as well. Sorry about that. Uh, so, back to you. Run, Forrest, run! <laughs> okay, here he goes. Two! Oh, boy! Uh, okay. Let's, uh... Now, wait a minute now. I just have to go off the edge of the map. That is correct. There's no special rule that I'm about to get stuck. Okay. No, no, but, uh, yeah. let's see if I can, if I can stop. I mean, other than getting shots. Pieces, sure, of course. sure. Alright, uh, let's do, and O'Malley. O'Malley will take another shot at him. So they're a six. Uh, nothing to add. So six plus. Seventeen. Okay. I will play a concealment. All right. So that's a fourteen, right? That is. And I'm a twelve. Oh, it's coming together now. <laughs> you got him. All right. He's all right. And away he goes. What does that do? So me? you put him on. There you go. Like you did. And you get, uh, you get three victory points for that. Okay, but I, it's it's the moral victory. Of course. Let's not forget. Of course. And it, it ain't over yet, man. Oswald knows it. <laughs> Mostly from prison. I'm so proud. All right. Okay. All right. So that was an order. All right. Let's play in advance. Should we do that? Sure. I mean, it seems very gamey, but I guess the smart play is to go into Smythe's Hex. Oh, sure. Do you have any ambushes you'd like to play? Uh, There's three guys. There's three, three guys. Three random guys guy. coming in after one. It's three against one, sir. Uh, yes, I do have an ambush. I will play. Okay. What do you think a broken team looks like? Sure, why not? And uh, no, okay. no other an no other ambushes for me. All right, I will play an ambush. How about that? Uh, Take that, Smythe. All right. Let's uh, break him. All right, what does that bring us to? Uh, two to one. <laughs> <laughs> kind of overwhelming. It's, it's hooliganism. Like All, right. <laughs> All right, now do you, you draw I draw first. first. Is that okay, so I got one plus. Uh, oh. I am going to. Not a great I'm going to give you the card. Uh, let's see. Yeah, with the hoo ha hey, I'm going to give you the card. So I'll try that again. Okay. One plus. That's eight. All right. Average. Yep. All right. Two plus. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, there it is. is. Okay. So. Death to Smythe. Death to Smythe. And you take the building. So eliminate Smythe. And I will give you eight victory points. Axis. That's important. Axis four. Axis four. There you go. All right. Well, there we go. There's nothing that a good logger can't fix. <laughs> Uh, and everything else is a bit of a mess. I think that's it for me. I think I'm now going to relax and draw. Okay. All right, I will play a route order. So Romero is off the map, so you will now route to the right. Uh, so we'll do the fusiliary here out in the open. There's six. Uh, they're not going anywhere. And then the greens are seven. And they're not going anywhere. Next order. We're going to play a move order. And Hawes is moving back into the building. Uh, that is all. Okay. British fascists wander aimlessly around the... Sergeant Hawes is getting ideas, I see. Discarding two and drawing up. Do a fire order. Uh, with Chatham. Once again, those fusiliary with that cannon. Uh, so they are a six. We're gonna, gonna add some marksmanship to it. Make it an eight. We're gonna add some more marksmanship to it. Make it a ten. Ten plus. Eighteen. Doesn't sound great, just because it's, you know, kind of mathematically impossible, but alright, let's roll. We do not make it. Okay. Take two victory points. Alright. Uh, next order. Uh, I am drawing back up. To you, sir. Alright, let's play move. Let's play these guys. They're going to go one north. One. 
Did, did you see any of that? I did. Uh, so they had, uh, they get five. One, one two, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. Next order. I'm going to play in advance. Activate Sergeant Marcello and his people. They are going to start trundling down towards the exit. All right. And then for Bizarro hand management plant part reasons, I'm going to play a route on myself. And so that's just the green squad in the prison. And they are eight. And they're okay. And then I'm done, and I'm drawn up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do a move order on Hawes. He's going to go one to there. I guess I'll shoot him. And I guess I'll activate uh, these guys down here. So that's a five coming at you. Play five. Okay, so that's a 12. Right. Seven, eight, nine, minus one. So there were uh, an eight and a seven. So eight plus. Good with an event. Ooh, a secret, secret objective. Ooh. <laughs> Lord. Hawes is a seven. He's good. All right. They will uh, continue to there. So I, I guess I'll shoot him again. Five again. So 15 this time. A little better. So, uh, so eight and seven again. Uh, eight plus four. He breaks. And seven. He breaks. All right. Next order. Do a cover. We'll start with Hawes, who's an eight. And he suppresses. And territorials are a six. And they fail. Okay. Well, that could have gone better. Because if ever there's a way to give away a possible victory, I'll do it. <laughs> All right. So there's my two orders. Back to you. And away we go. Sergeant Marcello and his men. We are leaving Marines. Let's start with the bottom guys. There are one, two, and away. One, two, three, and four with leadership. So what does that give me? Did I win? <laughs> Just about. <laughs> yeah. I think you may yet. I don't know. Because uh, I did something stupid. Which is normal. Oh boy. Where, where, so it's two uh, for each of the advanced. squads, and then Marcello. Oh, here so it's two, four, five, six. Yeah, six points. Okay. And then these guys go on the reinforcement track. That's right. All right. Next order. What is next? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot the guys in the open because. Uh, so it's five coming at you. Not as good this time. Six and seven, looks like. Suppressed, yeah, eight minus one, yeah, surprise two. So six and seven. All right, so here's the squad, six. They're good, and leader, seven. That's good with a sniper. Uh, sniper does not help. Okay, next order. And then I will play a recover. Not much. Okay, I got this green guy. He's a seven, eight. And he's fine. That's it. Okay. And I'm done. And I'm turning it over to you. I will do a recover. Get rid of my suppression there. Trying to get Hawes. He's an eight. He does not. <laughs> yeah. And uh, squads are six. And they do not. And they suppress. Goes back to our discussion today on Discord channel. Uh, I missed. That. Oh, just saying that uh, you know you, the, the Axis can win this one if uh, you know they don't make stupid mistakes and uh, and your opponent does, which I have. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What are we gonna do now? And yeah, I mean, it seemed like you didn't have a lot of. I mean, a lot of people seemed to have stopped them before they got to building four, right? Which 
it, it seemed like you didn't have a lot of fire while I was just marching slowly towards you. So yeah, and I was really hamstrung with uh, with no recovers, uh, and now that I got the recovers, they're just failing. So that's you know that's not helpful. Yeah. All right, Chatham's going to shoot at these guys in the building. So there is six plus. Five is eleven. Just drawing two cards. I th eh, maybe not. Nine and nine and eight. So it's possible, but not likely. Okay, so the guys underneath are nine, and then these guys are. It's fine. Okay, next order, and I'm done. Back to you. Okay, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna activate these guys. They're gonna come. One, two. Okay, <laughs> all right. So now I'll do that. Okay. So, yes, they are a two plus six. And I'm a five, so they're okay. Okay, next order. All right, well, let's discard a couple of command confusions. And somebody will advance somewhere. It's Carboni and his men. All right, next order. What's left? I think that's it. I think I'm turning it over to you. Draw on up. All right. You'd be in real danger if I ever get a fire guard. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's try something a little different here. Let's have Chatham shoot the guys on the road. So it's a... Actually, we're going to do separate shots. So we'll do uh, Territorials first, the six. Okay. What would you like to do about that? I don't know. Do I, do I feel lucky? I have seven cards left, so it's a, completely up to you. All right. Well, I'll, 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 I'll do it. I'll give you the card. Okay. So it is a six plus... Six is twelve. An eight, I believe. Uh, well, I've been promoted, guys. I've been promoted. Oh, good. Just so you know. Uh, and then Chatham himself is just going to shoot with his little pistol right here at these two guys. So uh, here's a one plus. Got eight with an event. Alright, gain a victory point for each of your enemies' el eliminated units. So, one, two, three. Not nothing. It is not nothing, so five victory points. Okay. Shot in the arm there. Alright, so eight to you. Okay, let's see what I got. I got a, uh... I got a nine, so I think they're gonna be okay. And then I got an eight. Okay, and there's a sniper. And he's doing nothing. Alright, that is the end of that order. And drawing two. Back to you. Alright, let's try to advance. We're just gonna move these guys into Oz's hex. So that is four to two. Okay. Do you have any ambushes? I will not play any ambush cards. Neither will I. It's just straight four to two. So here is my two. Uh, Here's my two. Here's my two. Okay. It's a nine. Average. Here's the event. And that is the end of my deck. Um, let's let's do, reset the deck here. It's getting getting tense. All right, so we're on seven. So I have the initiative card. Here's the draw. I'm going to give you the initiative card. I'll try it again. Sudden death. So what would you like to do about that? Okay, here we go again. Sudden death. And that is game. Let's show you the allied objective that I drew. <laughs> it's not nothing. So, reveal 
that Objective 4, which you control, is now worth three more victory points. So I'm going to give you three victory points. One point for the... Unreveal the objective. Yes, okay. So we reveal that. So I get one back. Okay. So allied one victory point. That, I guess, then, is a very tense ending to this game. Whew! Saved by the event. Yes, absolutely, because of my stupidity of moving Hawes. I used that wasted move order on trying to go off the map that way, being all clever, when I should have moved Nettles to here. Should have used that for that to prevent, you know, shenanigans from, from them, uh, Marconi, moving off the map, or Marcello. Very good game. Whew. I, uh, I'm exhausted. Yeah, it was fun. Fun scenario. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very close. Oh, I mean, you know, close. so you had a lot of bad luck, not, not I mean, I, I just looked over some of the after actions. It seems like, like you were saying, like a lot of people managed to stop them before they got into building four with good fire and like, you, you didn't have any of that. No, so. no. Well, you, and you uh, so effectively moved the blob. Uh, that was a, a sight to see. Just the green blob just kept coming and coming and coming. Then, of course, Mosby actually making that <laughs> mad dash. Oh, that was great. I mean, I didn't. I didn't really think that was going to work. I just figured, what else am I going to do right away as well? Right, lads, you are so, on I'm your own. Was... I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, James, uh, pleasure playing with you, sir. I will uh, I'll take care of the after action, and I am, uh, I'll clean this video up and get it up online. But uh, great game, sir. Great game. If you need uh, any more sound effects for the background, oh, just let me know. And uh, you did. You absolutely me. took my breath away tonight. So give my, give my <laughs> compliments to your uh, wife and your daughter playing the piano. It was great. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Take game. care. Thanks. Thanks. And I'm sure I will see you somewhere again on the ladder. And for those of you watching this, we hope you've enjoyed this uh, very tense ending to another tale from the Combat Commander ladder. As always, this is your open invitation. Follow the links that are down there in the description below. And if you've got any uh, comments or feedback on this, we'd love to hear it. If you played the scenario, what were your experiences with it? Did you have something similar to ours? Did you have a really good experience or really bad experience? Whatever. But uh, we hope to see you on the Combat Commander ladder. Thanks for supporting the channel. If you want to click that like and subscribe button, we'd really appreciate it. And uh, I will see you next month.